Do you have functions in your Volvo that are not activated? With a simple process you can activate them with this function extender. Today we're going to add some functions that are already in this Volvo, but either need to be activated or programmed to be used. Or work. To work. And if you want to know exactly what functions you can add in your Volvo, keep looking because I'll tell you exactly how to check that out. But first subscribe to the channel because here everything's about Volvo. And some of the features we're going to activate today is remote start of the fuel heater, a very cool feature when you unlock the car, as well as see more information from the car in the cluster. But first we need to program it and connect it to the computer. And these wires come with the function extender, and just connect this like that. And then we got a USB-C at the one end here, and then a normal USB at the other end. Connect. Yeah, and when that's connected, you need to install the program that you use to program the function extender. And to do that, you first need to download it. And you do that on swedesolutions.com. And at the top of the home page, you got downloads. And we got the CFE Plus here. And then configuration tool. Click to install. Uh, click the download and then you install it and I already have it installed so I'll open it up it's CFE updater so open it up and it looks like this and you can see here on the device you can see that it's connected uh, firmware you can update the firmware in this but uh, we already have the newest firmware already so we don't need to do that at this moment you just download latest and then uh, install it by update firmware and settings to program this, we go to settings up here, we click that, and now we will need the VIN number for the car. So either go out to your Volvo and write it down, uh, or in Sweden we have a homepage you can put your license plate number into, uh, like this. And then we got the license plate, uh, or the uh, VIN number up here. So take the whole VIN number and put it in like that. And now we can see all the functions that are possible on this car to program this with. Uh, so I'll go through a few of them. Uh, so we can take a look at the first uh, tab here, which is the doors. And uh, this is that it locks all the doors as you start driving. And uh, you can set what uh, uh, speed you want that to, when you want it to lock, at 10 km an hour, 15 or 20. So we put this in uh, 15 km an hour, and we want it to happen in both mode 1 and mode 2. Uh, mode, the modes are a quick way to change between two settings. Uh, for example, you can have the uh, mode 2 as a winter mode, uh, and for example, uh, don't fold the mirrors in the winter because that might break the engine that folds them. As well as some other functions that you might not want in the winter or some that you don't want in the summer. We can continue and look at, uh, for example, next tab is uh, mirrors. And here we can see that it uh, will retract the mirrors when we push the lock button. And that's in both mode 1 and 2. And then we can say here when to extend the mirrors. And that's if when the unlock button is pushed or when the unlock button is pressed with uh, an already unlocked car. So you have to push it like twice. Uh, when the key is inserted into ignition switch or, or when the engine is started. But we want it when we push the unlock button, button the first time. And uh, also here's the setting that if you don't have the button in the center console for uh, retracting the mirrors you need to also uh, take this box down here uh, and the windows here you can uh, extend the wash and wipe to swipe after uh, 10 seconds uh, another one after you've uh, sprayed it uh, you can also use the remote uh, remote to uh, close both the windows and the sunroof and uh, that can also be set for when you just press lock or when you press lock like twice within three seconds you can also use the remote control to open the window and the sunroof. You also have on the sunroof, of course, that you only want it to open on the vent or full. Lucka uh, polut is something we say in Sweden, which is uh, where how we want it, only on vent. So uh, 
You can also do that when set that when the yellow approach button is pressed uh, twice within three seconds. And down here is also that you can uh, start the heating on the windows uh, automatically uh, if the temperature is at a certain degree and yeah. Next we got the lights, one of my favorites here. Uh, for example you can extend the indicator to blink three or more times when you just uh, push it once. You can also see here uh, extend the high beam to also include the fog lights. Approach lightning is one of my favorites when you push the yellow button on the car or that can also be set a little bit uh, lower here uh, with approach lightning that that should light up as you unlock the car. So the stuff you tick up here will light up as you unlock the car later. So that's a really nice feature, I think, with the fog lights and the back lights lighting up, especially when they're LED converted from V parts, of course. If we take a look here at climate, uh, up here in Sweden, at least, it's cold in the winter. So you might want to have a nice warm car when you get to it. And uh, with this, you can do that. So you can tick here to start a fuel heater from uh, just uh, clicking a combination on the key fob. Uh, so the, this one is that you click the approach button uh, three times within three seconds and the fuel heater will start. So that's a really nice uh, feature I think, at least for us up here in the north. Uh, if we go forward and next we have the gate sweep where you see the needles go to the max and then go back as you put the uh, start a car. You can also have a nice message here, uh, welcome, and uh, also when you turn the engine off you can have another message, you can set them here. You can also see a lot of uh, different information in the little box on these uh, for uh, V70 05 to 07 for example, uh, and that you can set here what information you want to be able to show or not. And also if you want to be able to see it in Fahrenheit or uh, Celsius, for example. And uh, next here we got, uh, you can mute the uh, stereo as uh, you start uh, reversing. Uh, also auto accept the RTI warning, the navigation warning. Uh, programming, programming tab is not uh, active on this one. And then we got tools here. Uh, you can still read the uh, trouble codes with this. I'm not super familiar with that feature, but you see this little question mark up in the program. You can see, you know, read up on more how to do uh, with those parts. You also have a, net, a Wi Fi network. It's the same there. Uh, look in the information tab on the, or the question mark on the, that function. And the common question we get is uh, can I use this for another car? And yes, you can. Uh, you can also sell it if you want to, or if a friend wants to test it, they can test it. But you need to reprogram for, for their car uh, before they can use it in theirs, of course. Now you might be wondering, what functions can you get on your Volvo? Well, there's a quick and easy way to find out. Let's go to the homepage. And we search for the function extender here. And in the text of the product, there's a link. Uh, so you click this one here, CFE plus capabilities, then we come here and uh, you do as before, you get the VIN number for your car and just write that in this little box here. And now you can see all the possible functions in your car and what you can program and not. But now let's set, put this one in the car. And to install this you just open the little hatch here sits over the OBD2 outlet and plug it in. You turn the ignition key to on. And then the high beam icon will be lit up until it's been programmed. Yeah, and there you go. Now it's ready to use.